here is my little 49cc powered mini bike. This is the little engine here. I don't really like it. I think it's noisy. It leaks a bit as well. So I'm going to get rid of it and convert it over to electric. So let's start disassembling this bike and we can get into it. I think if I used a good four stroke engine on this from the start, I wouldn't be doing this conversion, but these cheap Chinese two strokes just really aren't that great. Once I finish stripping the bike, I now need to cut off all the mounting points for the engine and the rear wheel as it will be different for the hub motor that we will be using. Now that all the mounting points have been cut off, I'm going to use a flap disc to grind it all these bits and clean it all up. Now that I've cleaned the frame up, I can start welding on the mounting points for the new hub motor. As you can see, it's a lot tidier now. Here is the parts that I'll be using, except the ESC, that changes. This is the hub motor, I just bought it off AliExpress, it's a 10 inch 1200 watt motor. This is the ESC. I didn't end up using this. It was problematic. I kind of hate these cheap Chinese ESCs. I went for a much better option. This was the throttle I was going to use with it. But again, we didn't go with this in the end. This is the battery box that I bought from AliExpress. It's the first time I'm using one of these to build a battery and it's really good. I highly recommend buying this. It makes building a battery so much easier. Um, takes a lot of the time out of it and these are the batteries I'll be using they're just 18650s they're a reasonably good cell they're been tested between 1900 and 2000 milliamp hours I got them for 75 cents each so it was a really good deal and finally this is just the charger I bought again from AliExpress it was like $12 here we are mounting up the rear hub wheel this is a bracket that I cut off a little kid's bike that I had lying around and now I'm going to weld it in place here. I did take my time to measure all this up and get it as straight as possible.
Now that I'd finished cutting and welding, I could start putting some stuff back on the frame and measuring up for the battery box and ESC holder. These pre-made battery boxes from AliExpress really make my life a lot easier. The BMS fits in there nicely and then you get these pre-cut nickel straps. Probably takes like a tenth of the time of doing it all yourself. I think the battery box with everything like the BMS cost me around say $40. So then another about $50 for all the 18650s. So, it was under $100 to build this whole battery, which is a lot cheaper than going and buying one. And a lot of the cheap ones you buy use not very good low quality cells. Um, I have been told that using the cheap Chinese cells a lot of the times are the reason that battery fires happen where the reputable band ones like your Samsungs are a lot less likely to have an issue. Here I just soldered some wires onto the BMS for both the ESC connection and this is the charger connection as well. I made a larger hole in the side of the box for the ESC connections because I found the factory ones were a little bit small and I wanted a thicker gauge of wire. Now onto the ESC, this is the Flipsky one I chose. I really like Flipsky products. I use them in a few other projects and they're, they're a high quality item for a really reasonable price. It's not much more expensive to buy a Flipsky unit than it is those generic ones off AliExpress. And I really cannot recommend enough just getting a slightly better ESC. These ones are programmable with Flipsky's own uh, kind of like VESC programmer. Um, I wanted to give it a go and I quite like using it. It's a lot more simple than the VESC program, but it has everything that I want in terms of customization. Here's the throttle that comes with it as well. I think altogether, not including shippings, like 78 USD for both of these. And this can handle up to 20S and I want to say about 150 amps continuous, which is a lot. I hope that one day Flipsky give me sponsorship because I like their products and I'm going to keep using it and that would be great. I did find the little controller it came with to be a bit flimsy, the throttle, and I didn't end up using these buttons so I don't know if I'd buy that again, but again the ESC itself is great. I forgot to hit record by making up the brackets for the battery mount which is a bit of a rocky move but here it is anyway as you can see there's the four corners which hold the battery box itself in and then we got these stays on the side which screw down to hold it all in place the battery box fits nice and snugly down in here it doesn't move around which is good because I don't really want the 18650s bumping around I'm going to cut some of this foam padding up to sit on top of this bracket. Push in the battery a little bit. 
will also help with mitigating the vibrations that can be caused by riding the bike. A small annoyance with this throttle that comes with the uh, Flipsky ESC is this kind of mess of connectors here. I end up cutting these off and making it a lot more simpler, but I don't know why they bothered with it. It's kind of annoying. But I think adding on the throttle and on and off button to this ESC was an extra, I don't know, maybe five to ten dollars. So it's not like it costs a lot. Now I'm going to get everything wired up and just do a test and make sure everything is working. Here's the tool that comes with the Flipsky ESC. It's reasonably good. It's got all the features I need, but if you do want to get more in depth into setting up these ESCs, I would recommend buying from the Flipsky VESC range. You get a lot more customizability with it. But as you can see, this one's working perfectly well and it'll do an awesome job for this little bike. Next, I 3D printed a little box for the ESC just to tidy up all those cables that are hanging around and make sure it doesn't get too dirty. It's just going to sit on top and it'll mount to that top bracket that goes along the battery box. And here's the finished product, it's all done. I ended up putting these little ties around the battery box as the clips I made weren't very good, so I'll remake that. Here's the controller wires where I cut and redid the plug on it, so it's a bit tidier. I have my little GPS speedo at the front here. I've got another vid on my channel if you want to see that. I'm really happy how this bike turned out. It's a super simple build. It wasn't too hard to do, only took me a couple days. Now let's get it out there and give it a test ride and see what it's like on the road. <laughs> 